a wash box is a complex multi-component box that the belt enters dirty packed with material and exits clean and dry so i want to show you a little bit better look at a, a wash box a 2025 wash box and kind of what it looks like um, i'm going to show you this animation here and uh, you're going to see here, so this is our, on the top side, this is our belt. We're going to zero in on this wash box. You can see here that it's got a handle. This is an inspection door. We'll roll around to the opposite side here and have you take a look at, this is where the water would come in. You can see this is a drain system at the bottom. We'll talk more about that. Inspection doors on this side. Now what I want to do is I want to break through I want to, um, I'm going to give you this internal view of this. So as I look down in it, you can kind of see the spray bars. I've taken the secondary cleaners out of here, but this will include secondary cleaners. More on that. And if I get here, you can see the high pressure nozzles here. So those high pressure nozzles will spray the belt. And they'll also spray the secondary cleaners that are typically included with this. And you can see these nozzles are pointed down. So there's nozzles included that will help clean out the box. You saw that drain at the bottom. There's that drain again. Again, there's a latch here. This is all sealed up watertight. And, and, and that's a 2025 kind of state-of-the-art wash box system. They're pretty impressive on how well they can clean a belt. I talked a little bit earlier about some of the multi-components that uh, are included. I want to talk more about that. All right, so the components of a wash box are important. And any wash box should include tungsten carbide secondary belt cleaners. That's the mo number one component, and I don't want to dismiss that. Even though I didn't show it in that animation, I want to make sure that you understand that traditional secondary belt cleaners are the most important component of a wash box. You can't just spray that water on the belt and expect it to rinse off. You've got to scrape inside that belt as well, and that scraping follows the same secondary principles that we've always talked about. Should be at a non-aggressive angle, should be tungsten carbide, um, and should be tensioned properly, should have a hold down roll. Um, all those traditional secondary concepts are applicable when cleaning inside of this wash box. Uh, wash box should also include those high pressure water spray bars that we talked about. Uh, you should, in most cases, have some sort of water filtration. Typically, 10 mesh is sufficient. Number four, we do want to have a return roll, traditional return roll included in the wash box. And you can see just the leading edge of that included return roll. Now, the reason for that return roll is that you want to support the belt as it enters that box. You don't want that belt riding on the framework or the steel of that box. So if you're looking at um, wash boxes, you want to make sure that you select a wash box that has a return roller included. Most do, ours do, uh, but there might be some out there that don't. Number five, you've got to have those hold down rolls to work in conjunction with your secondary. Number six, you want to make sure that you have inspection doors so workers, when locked out and tagged out, can access the inside of that box to maintain those, scra those belt scrapers. Those belt scrapers are, again, susceptible to the problems of any secondary cleaner. My concern is maintenance. If they're not maintained, they're not going to perform. So you've got to make sure that this wash box includes good access so workers, when locked out and tagged out, can get in there and inspect the blades uh, and change out those secondary blades as needed. And then finally, number seven, they should include a squeegee cleaner like what you see here. 
very early in the conversation, I said a wash box would deli- would uh, have a belt dirty enter and would be clean. And if you recall, I said that belt should exit clean and dry. That's the importance of that squeegee belt cleaner. Now, we're in a unique situation where we make our own urethane, and we've developed a very, very low rigidity urethane. It's very, very flexible, um, and it really creates that squeegee effect, just like a slab of rubber that was really flexible and getting you to squeegee water off of a shop floor. This blade, with its flexibility, uh, will squeegee that water off of the belt, having that belt exit clean and dry. Everything drains down through a bottom drain, and that's up how you manage that drained water and material. Um, that's that's different different strokes for different folks. Different facilities might let that just run down into waste. Sometimes some folks will let it settle into a box, uh, pump off the water, reclaim the material. Uh, but it, it's just kind of different applications, and we can give you some guidance on what those options are if you're interested in some sort of washbox system.